this video we are playing Find the Animals. So we're starting off round spawn. And I have really loved playing this game. Um, this has got a really, really good kind of difference in challenge levels. Um, so some of them you do have to think about. Some of them seems quite obvious, but did bake my noodle just a little bit. <laughs> if you do get stuck on any of these animals, or if you do want just a bit of extra help, please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if I could ask if you do enjoy this video or any other from Judgment TV, please help to support my channel and hit that subscribe button. If there are any games that you would recommend or you'd like me to video, again, just drop that in the comment. I will get it videoed. And that mole, oh, so small. It was such a cheeky little one that took me a while to find. So we're moving around into the kind of city area. So I have organised this video kind of by biome. Um, it's in no particular order that I kind of found them. I've just tried to group all the recordings together in the relevant area. Obviously you can get these however you want, in whatever you want. I'm literally just showing you my gameplay. So Rabbit is locked in a cage there. And we have a very sneaky drop down to Tortoise. And this is why I was saying that the challenge element's really good because that was not obvious, like you had to run through that rock to find it. So with kind of regards to the map, it's kind of simplistic, like there's no furniture in this building. Um, but I think despite it being quite simplistic, it still is really effective. Um, and I have, I honestly have really enjoyed playing this game. Like, you won't be disappointed if you haven't played this one yet. And we look like we have Marlin or Nemo in the tank there. Looks quite a big tank to be sat there by himself. Poor lonely old fish. But the cat's got the wrong idea, really. You need to go a couple of floors down for the fish or a couple of floors up for the pigeon. <laughs> or maybe it's not hungry yet. Get a nice view of all the maps from up this high. So as you can see on the windowsill there, there is a red box that turns green. That is the button release for the rabbit's cage, so you will need to go ahead and press that. Mallard has got itself stuck down the chimney. And I always find um, the reason why I zoom in and out is it helps to get perspective on the game and also you can sometimes catch some of the different bits you've got to find, like I saw iguana in the tree by zooming out. And as we can see now that the rabbit's cage is now open. And this one, I missed this on my first run, that sneaky little ledge with parrot on it. Um, but yes, you are going to have to run all the way back up or drop before you get iguana. And again, this one, so sneaky. It's in the bathtub, but you can't see it. Like, I love that different kind of difficulty level to some of these, but they're still quite obvious where they would be.
an animal you oh well an animal that some people wouldn't want to meet um the skunk obviously because of the smell it can emit And again, with these games, it does pay to be meticulous, so you do have to search absolutely everywhere. See the wall kind of disappeared there, and we've got a sneaky hidden entrance to Peacock. I mean, that is such a small hint on the picture to then think, oh, I've got to run through there. Sneaky hamster behind the headboard. And that was found by pure chance. Obviously, I dipped down on the floor and it was like, oh, what happened there? Let's go and have a look. <laughs> I don't know if some of these games are more my skill and knowledge or if it's just pure luck that I find some of these things. <laughs> but we have managed to go down and get alligator. And if you do touch the kind of sewer water, you do just get transported back to the kind of initial checkpoint. You don't go back to spawn, which for, you know, an obby noob like me, um, when my skills do still fail me, it is a nice little touch not to have to go all the way back to spawn. I'm moving around to what I've called the African Plains. Wasn't sure what the developers called this, but that's what I'm titling it. And what find the game is not complete with a maze. I absolutely hate mazes. But I'm going to stick to my golden rule of follow the one wall round and eventually you should be able to find what you're looking for. So I'm not going around like a lunatic. I am checking that there's no hidden walls um, and B, it just helps me to navigate mazes and just to make sure that I've checked absolutely everywhere I need to. And this one is quite a long maze. It's not one of those kind of easy short ones. But as you can see, we found our first hidden wall with a button. So I'm not entirely sure what that button does. Obviously, I found it first. So I don't know if it releases something elsewhere, if it releases something in the maze. I have no idea. Um, but it's probably a good idea to find it and press it. <laughs> I will label it in the timestamps as maze button. So thankfully only two animals down in the maze.
there, it kind of reminds me of Pride Rock, if you've ever seen kind of Disney, Disney's The Lion King. We have the male lion up the top here. You're going to need a friend or you're going to need to find a nice person to stand on the button. The button is there and that releases the rhino's cage over there but there is absolutely not enough time to run from one to the other. So you are going to need to get someone to do that. I found that a bit later on um, in the game uh, when I was in a different area someone had to press the button so I ran and got it. I will show you but that is where the button is. So we're in the desert biome now. And this game does have like a really nice all-rounder to the kind of games that you have to play. So obviously some are obbies, some are out in the open, and there are kind of a couple more puzzly based type ones. So here's where I said obviously someone had pressed the button and luckily I nearly just got trapped but we didn't so Rhino is there and obviously that person is very tiny sitting there pressing the button. If you want to be mean you could press on the button and then not let somebody back out again. <laughs> not that I'm suggesting you do that but obviously it's quite easy to trap somebody and then they have to reset. My obvious skills failing me there. I thought golden eagles were a bit bigger than that. That kind of looks like a pigeon size. <laughs> so that one's made a bit harder because you keep whacking your head on the roof. So this one, you just literally can't touch the wall at all. And I hate to say it like it is tortoise in the hair with me, I do have to go quite slow through some of this stuff. Less haste, more speed. So another drop I found by accident. <laughs> I swear some of this is pure luck rather than any kind of skill on my part. But just to show you there is, when you actually look quite clearly, a square 
where the, the pattern doesn't quite match up. So that is the hint for that one to find that drop. I definitely think like it's definitely 70% luck. <laughs> Moving round onto the farm. So this one has those kind of cool conveyor belts so you have to jump in to go and get a bull. Uh, most of the pens are the same here. So again, the pig one will shoot you back out the pen. The most dangerous food trough in the entire farm with toxic waste. I mean, poor animals trying to pick out the peas and I think whatever those chips are from their feed bowl. I mean, that's just a bit mean. <laughs> oh. These ones, these locked animals, I will show you how to get them in a moment. These were a couple that seem simple enough to bait my noodle. So here's a bit of a puzzle based one. So if you just follow me through the colours and we can it go in and get turkey. Luckily there was only three kind of sets of doors. I have been in some of those games where it's like multiple and then I have to start writing down which one I went through. So for the cow, it's literally just jumping up on top of the pen and you'll be able to get in and out. For donkey, it's a bit more difficult. And although I checked the one end of the barn, when I went round and obviously zoomed out, this is why I'm saying zooming out can be really useful. Hello, Mr. Button on the back of the barn. So all you need to do again is drop down, make the button green and this will then open the door to go and get donkey. Moving round to the beach which is right next to the desert area. I do love that explosion of like stars, like glittery stuff as you find stuff. And that is obviously visible to all the other players as well. Bit of a hint if you're getting stuck in one area, you can see where the explosions of glitter are that you might need to run across and go and get. So with this area you think, oh yeah, it's empty. 
and I tried and tried and tried to find this one animal and I couldn't find it and I thought this has to be something you just won't have an empty area like this and I hate swimming areas like I'm not the best at swimming on the iPad with the Roblox but there is a secret at Lenton and then we end up coming here <laughs> so you have to swim between the bars and this these kind of challenges are like my worst nightmare they take me a good couple of attempts to do, but we have managed to get through and get lobster. So with this one, much like the pyramid, we've got Don't Touch the Wall Time, but this is the swim edition. But we can make it through and get octopus. I made that that run look quite easy there, didn't I? <laughs> oh, the power of editing. And once you know you have hidden walls in a game, again, it does pay to be meticulous. Um, so this is actually my second sweep of the beach to try and find a crab now. But we have found the hidden entrance. So for Megalodon, we have got a countdown timer at the top of the screen. Um, and it does appear in this kind of beach area in the water. So I'm not going to lie, like I don't know exactly how to get this animal, but the water turned red and I jumped in. So I think that it disappears when somebody gets it and reappears somewhere else within the water. Um, I don't know why it flashes red, but I just kind of swam into it a couple of times and I managed to get it. So moving around into the kind of campsite area now. We've got the beaver in its dam there that you need to obviously swim under to end up, up to get through. And we've got another hidden entrance to get catfish through the kind of mud barrier. We've got the brown bear in the tent. Not something you'd want to find in your tent going camping. And there is a fair amount of obbying to do in this game, but it's not difficult obby. Um, it's fairly easy, so it shouldn't be too difficult for either a mobile player or computer. But we get Red Panda at the end. this was I was when I was running in aiming for the red panda we have koala up the tree so this is the dip you can kind of see it when you kind of first dive into the pool So again, we've got another Don't Touch the Wall Swim Edition, but there is a larger gap at the end of the Feather Con of Rose. So if you head to that, it is a lot easier in trying to get between the columns. But you can find Snapping Turtle at the end.
because with the murky water um, in this area, I did miss it, uh, obviously, on my couple of runs that I did um, into the water. And behind the kind of seaweed, there's a gap. So where we are in fact swimming is to Axolotl. Now I'm not going to lie, I did question on a numerous occasions, am I swimming in a circle? Keep going, just keep on swimming, it takes about five minutes, I'm not going to lie, it is a massive, massive spiral. Um, but eventually you will get to the middle of the spiral, just keep going, I promise I'm not trolling you. And there we have it, we have Axolotl. Moving round to the jungle area now. And we have the panda, of course, at the tallest piece of bamboo. Don't try and be clever and jump on the tree, you will just fall straight through. But at the end, we have the, the chimpanzee. I'm pretty certain you may have been able to climb the tree trunk the other way. As I said, I'm just showing you how I got it. You can go up the tree trunk, which now I look at it, might have been the easier way to get sloth. <laughs> Kind of big cave area. Um, there's only one animal down here, which is bat. Um, so the first time I came down here, I found it, and I was like, "How am I going to get this one?" <laughs> so the blocks there, but then you have this kind of I don't know box around it, and there is bat there. 
and you can't jump on another player's shoulders in order to get it. So I left it and then Daddy Judge, uh, the big brain that he is, uh, realised that the block had moved by the time that we went into the game and you can actually push the block um, in order to then put it underneath the bat to then jump on the block and get it. I don't know how you reset the block um, because obviously last time I saw it, it was wedged up the corner. I'm not sure how you get that moving again. But once you have the block in place, Ta-da! You can then get back. So this is actually the Tiger Temple and there are four kind of bits on the wall. Um, this relates to four buttons that you have to find around the map. Once you find a button, it will then light up the relevant uh, button on the wall. So what I didn't actually realise is I'd actually just touched the button um, and this is just outside on the side of the temple there. So that is button number one. Button number two is just here at the back of this area. So this is where we found Cobra. So if you just go on top there, so that is obviously the cave entrance. making our way up the other piece of bamboo in this area. If we run back towards the bridge, hello button number three. So the last button is there, you can just see it on the top. We need to make our way up there anyway to go and get Panther. So with this, this is a bit of a game. So you need to wait for the floor to appear. Just be patient and there we have it the floor will raise up with you on it and you just make sure that you don't touch anything that's green so as soon as the floor has gone past the green that like that we need to then run to the next one I found that kind of first player just helped make sure that I didn't touch the floor uh, but again you can play this however you want This was a really fun addition. I did like this. And it just adds to that kind of variation um, and the different types of games that's within this game. I wonder what would happen if you touch the roof if you just kind of like smush and go back to the bottom. <laughs> But there we have it, we have made it to the top. So there is button number four press, and we now have Panther as well. Making our way back down to the temple now, and we can see that the floor has opened, and we can make our way across the obby in order to get Tiger, or should I say, try and make our way across the obby to get Tiger. <laughs> I got it that time.
my favorite animal on this planet is a tiger absolutely love them moving around to the snow biome Again with this one you do have to be pretty meticulous. There are some animals like this one here hidden right round the kind of back or the side of the, the map. Again zoom out just really helps to find them. Now we have no idea why I kept sitting down. <laughs> um, that was a bit of a funny thing that happened there. But we did man manage to eventually stand up and stay stood up to get reindeer. No idea why I kept sitting down. So many elements to snow that you have to kind of drop down or go in to find these animals. So we're moving around now into the kind of dino biome. So again, this is someone that you will need not one person but two people for. So the two people need to stand on the buttons. I'm not going to lie, they were a bit temperamental to stay open. But once you have two people stand on the buttons, it will then open up the cage. Oh, this one. So this pool is just like pitch black. <laughs> oh man. Um, I don't quite know what to show you here, but the best advice that I could kind of give you is swim down and swim across till you hit the wall and then just kind of try to continue round hitting the wall. Um, it's the only advice I could give you. It took me ages to search here and I it's just really, really disorientating when you can't see where you're going. I hate the void stuff and stuff like this. But I promise you, if you carry on just trying to swim around the walls, it does work. Obviously, I've got the end now and swimming down. I'm 
I mean, this, this, this part of the video is just no use to nobody because you can't see where I am. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> But out of the darkness, it does appear. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Ifio? I have no idea. I always hate when the kids ask me to pronounce dinosaur names. It always feels like I'm trying to speak a foreign language that I don't know how to say. And again, I have no idea how to do this one either. I just kept pressing the random coloured buttons. Um, and then eventually I managed to get through to the dinosaur. Don't ask me what the pattern is. just making our way up the kind of volcano um, to get the dinosaurs that of course when anybody says dinosaur invariably you're going to think of a T-Rex So that kind of ends where the kind of easier dinosaurs are. <laughs> again because we've got hidden walls we then need to go and run around every single wall and we can find triceratops outside on the floor you can just see a darker square that is another drop I've got a little bit turned around in here, so I'm not quite sure where I was supposed to go. <laughs> but that is the way, don't drop all the way down. You need to jump over the top. I'm 
not sure if it would help to have the sprint on or off in this area. Now to me that looks like an Ankylosaurus but I might be wrong. <laughs> As I said I don't know dinosaurs, it's not my forte at all. I don't know why they had to give them such complicated names in the first place. I'm sure there wasn't a Mr. Tyrannosaurus or Mrs. Tyrannosaurus Rex who found that and named it like because you know when we have discoveries it's normally named after the person who discovers it. Another super sneaky hidden wall because you cannot drop down to this area from inside the middle of the volcano. Um, yes, I did try. Uh, you have to find that hidden entrance there. And for the more skilled people in Obby, you could probably jump from one bar to another. Um, I haven't got the rest of the day to kind of record a video whilst I try and do that so I'm going to go the sensible way and just wander around. I know it's slower and takes a lot longer but it means I will finish it. And then another super sneaky hidden teleport. So inside the volcano, if you actually run round, although it looks blank, you wouldn't normally run round there knowing there's nothing there. But this is how you get teleported up to go and get Tyrannodon. And what makes this area a bit more difficult is that the kind of blocks in between the platforms will disappear. And yes, on this one, if you do drop, you will have to go all the way back around the volcano again to go and restart this area. How do I know that? I fell. Yes, I'm not too frightened of admitting it. <laughs> the power of editing, this is like my second try. <laughs> And once you have found all 102 animals, the game will then say you found them all and you can rebirth and start all over again if you want. And there we have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you real soon. Bye.